All right, guys. So, so welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something that a lot of people do, but LED headlight installation. Now there's two different sides to this. There's the side of you need to put aftermarket bu uh, buckets in. There's the side of you need to leave the factory buckets. I've read tons of stuff on this, and I honestly I don't know which one's better. But I made my own conclusion, and I decided that the factory buckets were better. Now, why do I think that? I think that because they designed these buckets to not blind people, right? Now, a lot of people, whenever they change out the buckets, they're like there's just this clear front on them, right? They don't dissipate any light. They don't scatter it. Whenever you scatter light, it's not focused in one place, and I think that's what blinds people. So, uh, in this case, we went with the factory buckets and just LED conversions. Um, and how you do those is, if you look over here, I've got this one taken out. And this is for a 95 F-150. If you guys follow my channel, you know that this is my truck. Um, but this thing right here was kind of tough to get on here. And I'm not going to pull it off because it was a pain in the butt to get on here. But this just plugs into my factory harness. Okay, I didn't have to do any wiring, anything like that. It's all plug and play. And th they work great. High beams work, low beams work. And I haven't had a problem with it. The only thing that I did have a problem with was the, uh, the, the LED headlights that got sent to me. One of them was glowing purplish blue. Which I ended up figuring out, meaning that the LED bulb was going bad, while this one glowed white. It's not a problem. The company took the LED back, and they're supposed to be sending me a new one. Um. Anyways, guys. So, what well, what I want to talk about is like, pretty much. I paid eighty nine dollars for these. That's not too expensive in my opinion. Um, eighty nine dollars. I had a coupon for ten percent off, so they were normally ninety nine. But I got free shipping as well, so I, I got a pretty good deal on them. Um, and they glow pretty good. And how you install these, I'm just going to tell you how to install them. This particular model, you just plug them in right here. You have to kind of force this through right here, this end, and pull it all the way up through the harness so that it clicks to the back of the bulb like this. After that, just make sure that... Uh, it'll turn. Well, pretty much if you line up this with that notch, they'll go in straight. Um, I think it'll go in straight anyway. We'll find out. But um, after that... You can literally just, if you've ever replaced headlights on your vehicle, then you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see if they'll go in now. Yep, they came back out. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we can't get these to stay. Okay, cool. Now it's in there. It's pretty simple. That For some reason, that time it was really hard. But um, that one over there is just factory. So I'm going to show you the difference of how they look. And another reason. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and talk about another reason why I did this. Um, these are brand new headlight buckets. You saw that in the Chrome video, I think we did headlight buckets. I really don't remember. Um, but these are brand new buckets. And what happens to plastic headlight buckets over time is, I'm sure you've all seen this, is they turn yellow. That happens to a lot of them. It's on my Explorer. Uh, my mom's car is a 2017. It's starting to do it. My dad's car, is a, my dad's truck is a 2010. It's starting to do it. The only way that they don't turn yellow is if you have the uh, like 80s model, I think, where it's the glass buckets. Glass buckets don't haze over. That's pretty much the only reason for me that I did it because headlight buckets. These I got a really good deal on. They were on sale. I got it for 10 bucks pop uh, with bulbs. But some of them could range from 200 to 300 dollars for just the buckets. I mean, they can be really pricey. So. Whenever I did the LED conversion, that did it. Now, the reason why they haze over is because halogen bulbs burn really bright. Or, not, not bright, but hot. They burn really hot. And so they cause the outer coating on the headlight to, to go away. And so oxidation starts to set in. And then that's just basically what turns it yellow. Um, so I want to show you the differences. Um, like, whenever I do this, because I have one halogen and one LED right now. Um, whenever I got out last night, after I'd been driving home with... Uh, LEDs for a while you could feel that one of them was cold and the other one was pretty warm not hot because it is pretty cold outside out here right now I know I'm wearing short sleeves but it's still pretty cold um, but it was it was still pretty warm and like I said over time that'll cause them to haze over what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out that I'm gonna pull out the thing and you'll see these are 4,000 lumens a piece so they're not very bright bulbs um, I don't recommend getting some that are like 16,000 lumens unless you're going to be like taking something down trails where you're going to need to see everything. Then that's whenever you get into light bars and stuff like that. This is just for a daily driver, something that you're going to be taking up and down the road, but you want it to look nice. That's pretty much what 
what I did here. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go inside and I'm going to pull the headlight switch and let you guys see what it looks like. So, as you can see, one's LED, one's halogen, alright? So this one right here, this is the, uh, this is all on low beam. So, as you can see, this one's not that much brighter than that one. Just, I mean, comparatively. It's not that much brighter. And it, you know, it honestly, I, I think it looks great, to be honest with you. But, um, but yeah. But if you'll like, when you, I, I can't really show you because I have, you have to kind of, I don't have one of the temperature things. But this one right now is cold. Alright. This one's already getting kind of warm. And it's only been on for a minute. If you want to come over and feel this bit, you're going to talk about it. You'll feel this one. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel this one. Ice cold, no heat. That's a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's Halogen balls burn so hot that, you know, even, even if you have them inside of your car, they're going to burn hot and that's going to make it hot inside the car. Um, but, honestly, that doesn't even really matter. The only thing is I just, I just recognize it. You can actually hear that motor or like the, the driver buzzing. It's almost like a ballast in a light. You can hear that. Whereas on this one, it's nothing. And, unless, you know, yours is going, Wee! and then in that case, you need to have something checked out because that's not good. <laughs> like, that's not good at all. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand what, what I'm talking about with the LED headlights. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna go and buy these yourself, th there's a lot of things to consider. You know, d do do I care if I blind other drivers? I do. I hate it whenever I'm driving down the road and somebody with LED headlights comes at me, and they're bright and I can't see, and I almost run off the road. I hate that. That's the worst thing ever. And that's why I went with these uh, 4,000 lumen ones. They're not that bright. I haven't had anybody like you can you can tell whenever you do it to somebody because you can see them squint. Okay, I, I've done it. I've had my I've had mine on high beam before. And been like, oh crap, sorry, turn it off, and you know, went from there. But, anyways, so yeah, but this is just a pretty much a guide to installing LED headlights. Like I said, guys, there's a lot of things to consider, um, especially on older vehicles. Older vehicles, you know, they don't, we, we don't have fog lights, you know, we have parking lights, and you know, even for brake lights, this one has a metal brake light, it doesn't work, haven't figured out why yet. But putting LED brake, putting LED taillights in is gonna improve everything I plan to swap all of this over to LED at some point but um but yeah you can even uh, tell like compared to the parking light how much brighter the headlight is because if, if we just turn off the headlights and just the parking lights of course parking lights aren't supposed to be bright but if these were if these were LED they'd be a good bit brighter than they are right now so yeah so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, guys. So, uh, I had to show these off. I'm sorry. I got new wheels, man. They are so pretty on this truck. Those chrome wheels. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, but whenever we were working on a uh, Victor's truck over there, I had the gray ones on it. Oh, my God. These are all rusted up. Yeah, and there's the tail lights, by the way. Not LED, but yeah. Oh yeah, and there's one red center cap. There's a three are black. I'm trying to get another black center cap or three more reds. Uh, I'm 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 kind of with Victor now. I'm kind of digging the red a little bit more. I like the red. It looks really good. Yeah. Because the black kind of want to blend. It wants to blend in. With the that tire. one doesn't. That one doesn't. It pops. It looks really good. Yeah, I think I might try to get three reds. I actually have two reds. Actually, I already have three reds, so I may try to get one more red or one more black. Heck, I may just try to get both, and then we'll go put all four blacks on, take a look at it, see what we think. No, Anyways, guys, you put one red, one black, one red, one black. Oh yeah, that, that way it don't matches, right? Yeah, I could actually do that right now. <laughs> For reds on the front, blacks on the back, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys.